Hi everyone, Miss Dabble here again, just um, with your next step on your extended essay research. And today we're going to talk about how to really settle on a topic and start your research. It's okay if you are still trying to decide between a couple. Um, if you are researching two topics at once, that is totally fine. So we are going to see what we have open here. We've got the library guide for extended essay. I've got my EE research folder open with my notes, my source di diary, and my articles already. I've opened this one in particular so that I can keep track of what I've got going on, and I've got my bib so I can have my official looking bibliography ready. So let's go back here. We're going to be on the explore your topic section. And in here, we're really trying to narrow down our topic by asking ourselves these questions. So what has already been written about this topic? What can I find about it? Was it easy to find sources? Do I think this is going to be a little bit too difficult? Is there a range of different sources available and views or perspectives on the topic? Or is it really just one person writing about it? Is there an, a disagreement about it? It's way more interesting if you can find different points of view, if you can find people who have different ideas about what happened or what will happen. Um, and then what interesting questions have started to emerge from this reading? All right, so these are some good places to start. I do have Wikipedia on here because it's basically a way to find a good overview of our topic. But really, I want to kind of start with the library resources that we've got. So we've got two options. You already maybe looked um, at this Gale resource. I am doing the bubonic plague, so I think maybe this world history one might offer me. You'll notice that this one has the Use Your Library Go e-card little message around it. This means that when I click on it, I'm going to be asked to log in. But don't worry, you all have library cards. So when you do this, you're going to put in 220916006006 and then your student ID. I put in 625 because I'm a staff person. And then your barcode will be your birthday or your PIN. Once you write information, then you will go right into this resource. So I'm in World History and Context, and I'm doing the Black Death or the Bubonic Plague. So I'm going to keep searching for information on that and see what I can find. This one breaks it into different um, types of information you can find. Reference is going to be your basic information overview. It's sort of like Wikipedia. Academic journals are going to be written by people who might be more experts in the field, so that's another good resource. At this point, you can also listen to audio or watch videos on your topic if you're just trying to get an overview and decide what the topic's about and what the different issues surrounding this topic are. Um, there's also news articles, images, all sorts of good stuff in here. So I'm going to start with this reference information and see what I find here. So we've got the Black Death. Uh, it's an event overview. That would be probably a good one. Bubonic Plague. These are what I was talking about before, how people refer to the same topic under different names. So this is probably about the same thing. Just filed a little bit differently. This one might be interesting because it's from the Encyclopedia of the Modern Middle East and North Africa. So... Um, it might be a different perspective than the one here that's talking about Encyclopedia of the Renaissance that's more focused on Europe. All right, so I'm going to go back to these kind of initial ones. All right, here we go. All right, the plague. This is where I was finding a lot of information in the past about all the different names you can have for it. Here's the official Latin word for it. All right, so this might be an article I really want. So what I'm going to do is a couple things. All right, if I want to get back to it but don't want to have to log in, I can actually save this to my Google Drive and then move it over to my folder. So that's one option. Let's see how that works. 
I've already logged into Google, so it didn't even ask me to do that. Um, there we are. I also want to make sure I'm citing this resource. So there's one easy way to do this. You'll notice it doesn't have my bib in there yet. Hopefully it will one day. But I can add this a different way. We want to use Chicago style. I am going to copy this here. You'll notice it has this link in it. If you use this link to get back to it, it will ask you to log in again. But hopefully you know how to do that now. And then I'm going to go here and create a citation. Now, I don't want to just paste the link in, but because I had to sign in, my bib doesn't necessarily have the ability to access resources that are behind logins. So we want to just add it a little bit different way. So I'm going to go into more in this section that says write paste citation. And then I'm going to put this directly in here. On your iPad, you might not see this annotation se section. I think one of these is missing. You can really put it in either one of these sections. And then if you want to write notes about what it is in annotation, just overview, save it. All right. Then I'm also going to put it in my sources diary. Once you have a few found, you're going to want to make sure you're reading kind of as you're going. So if you find about three articles, you're going to want to start reading a little bit about what what there is. This one even has some critical thinking questions. What factors contributed to the spread of the plague across Europe? Um, how did people cope with the Black Death during its peak? Might be interesting to think about um, if I'm trying to contrast things or find different topics. Um, I might want to know how people coped in Europe versus North Africa and the Middle East or China or other places that it broke out in. So just reading through these critical thinking questions and these, I'm sort of getting some questions I have in my mind um, that this article doesn't necessarily answer, but that I might be able to find elsewhere. And, and I kind of have questions already in my mind. Um, so this is a good sign that your topic might be something that you can pursue. Um, and you just basically now are just going to keep finding new articles. You might have a different direction to look in. So now that I thought about um, the spread in Europe or how people coped with it in Europe, I might want to start doing my search and saying, okay, so North Africa, Black Death, um, coping or whatever search terms I can come up with. And you're just going to keep doing some research until you have about three or four good articles and you start getting a sense of whether or not your topic is something you want to keep doing. Are you finding information about it? Do you have questions that you're kind of interested in thinking more about as you're going through your topic? Um, so I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, or if you're having trouble getting into this or any other resource that are linked on the guide, you can always also go to the chat and just ask any of the St. Paul Public Schools librarians and we'd be happy to help you out.